Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today it is lunchtime around here at my house and I am, I'm really hungry. I'm starving and I wanted to throw something quick and easy together. Um, there she goes, as soon as the camera rolls. She is scratching to go out, but she's gonna have to wait a minute. Um, but I wanted to throw something quick and easy together today using a few of the things that I have on hand. I went um, to the store yesterday and got um, some zucchini, or I'm sorry, some squash, not zucchini. And I knew I wanted to do a recipe with that today. I wanted to do a, a totally different recipe than I'm doing right now, but I'm hungry. My belly is a growling and it's saying feed me. So I've got some shrimp that I had in my freezer. I thawed some of that out. I'm going to throw me a quick lunch together. Now from start to finish, even prepping your vegetables, which takes literally five minutes in your shrimp, this meal lunch, dinner, whatever, um, can come together in probably less than 20 minutes. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that for, um, you know, time wise and the money that I spent, um, I'm using, I'm going to tell you, we're going to go over what I'm using. I'm going to tell you what I spent on it. I've got a can of diced tomatoes, which was, um, sometimes you can get them on sale like five for five. So we're going to do a dollar for that. The whole big bag of shrimp was like $7. Um, and this is just a little bit of it. So, I don't know, maybe um, $1.50 on that too. Uh, on my yellow squash, it was $2 and something for two, so that's three. I already had the pasta on hand, which everybody always has pasta on hand, so that's a freebie. We always have garlic, we always have onions, and in your cabinet you should always have some type of freeze-dried basil, um, some type of shredded cheese on hand, so honestly, this little quick meal is going to cost me probably about three or four dollars if that. Now, if you decide to make this for dinner, which I have many, many times, it is absolutely phenomenal. The colors, wait till you, wait till you see um, the beautiful colors that um, are paired together. It's just so magnificent. But I would recommend that you double the recipe if you're making it for dinner or even triple it because it's even better the next day. Got some water going on in the background there. I'm going to boil my pasta. What I'm using today, I hate when I use this. I hate when I use this when I do videos because y'all know, but I can't pronounce this, but it is the, uh, there, you say it. That's what it is, orachetti or orachetta. It's not orachetta. I don't know what you call it. If you know, if you know how to pronounce it kind of leave a detailed, you know, at the bottom of this to maybe I can learn how to pronounce it, but who knows. Anyway, that's what we're using. Some shrimp, some diced tomatoes, some onions, some garlic, some yellow crooked neck, crooked neck squash. I started to call it crooked naked squash, but that'd be a good end because she was sandy. Who knows? Um, that pasta, some olive oil, some basil. I'm going to see if I can pull out some cheese in my refrigerator to drizzle over the top of this. Who knows what else I'm going to throw in there. Um, I think I'm going to put just a little bit of celery salt in there. So it's going to be amazing. Of course, it's going to be amazing. I wouldn't give you any other recipes any other way. Let's get started. I've got my water coming to a boil back here. I've just got a little pot of it. I'm only using... Um, about a cup, slightly over a cup of the pasta, you know, you know, that pasta I can't pronounce. I'm going to go ahead and turn my little, um, pan here on about medium. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to that. Or a lot, you know, olive oil is magnificent in, um, pasta dishes. And then what we're going to do with this is I should have went, I should have separated this. This is my squash. I want you to see this. It was kind of a big um, squash, and that's all right because I love this stuff. It's going to straighten down a little bit. But what I done? Oh, I forgot to cut that piece. Um, but I just kind of quartered it in nice, big, thick um, the chunks of it. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to cook down a little bit, but I really don't want it to cook down too, too much. I'm going to go ahead and toss in. Hence, is why I didn't cut it. You know, too small. I'm going to go ahead and toss in my garlic so that olive oil can start infusing with that garlic. You already know about that, right? A lot of the times when I am um, cooking pasta and I start out with um, some form of veggies, I always like, usually, to throw in a little bit of butter because look at her. Look at her. She's just waiting there for me to let her out. And you know what? She's going to wait. 
that is a tablespoon of butter but I always like to add a little bit of butter when I'm doing um, like pasta and olive oil and all that good stuff that is good enough I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my zucchini zucchini I keep wanting to call it zucchini and you know what I forgot to cut a couple of those so I'm gonna have to cut those this smells absolutely wonderful already wonderful I tell you I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper to it oh it smells so good I'm going to add some salt. You don't want to add a whole lot of salt because um, the tomatoes, you know, they have quite a bit of salt content to them. Stir that around. I'm going to toss in your shrimp. And like I said, I'm going to add just a little bit of celery salt to it. It's just going to make that dish pop. I mean, it's just going to make it pop, I tell you. I'm going to throw in just a little bit of extra garlic, just because, you know me. I'm extra. And just stir that around. Look how beautiful that shrimp is becoming. And by the time the shrimp is nice and cooked through, which will just take um, literally a couple minutes, a minute or two. The squash will be exactly where I want it. Toss in your can of diced tomatoes. What I tell you, look at that. Look at the contrast of those colors. Oh, aren't they absolutely beautiful. Pasta still going on the back of the stove there. And we're going to allow these tomatoes to just infuse with all that deliciousness. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something. I think I already told you guys. Pasta is one of my favorite dishes. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of the dried basil to it. Just a little. Oh my gosh. Once that basil hits that pan, basil is honestly one of my favorite, favorite um, seasonings to work with. Love it. Love it fresh. Love the freeze-dried. If you haven't had the freeze-dried basil before, I am telling you what it is. And it's well worth your money because you can just use it over and over and over again. Pasta is going in. Look at that. Look at that. This is enough, honestly, for, I don't know, two or three lunches. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now what we're going to do is grate up a little bit of cheese in there. Hey, why not? Cheese goes with everything. You could use whatever cheese you like. A nice, salty, delicious um, cheese. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Stir that in. The heat is already off. Nice big hand of parsley. Believe it or not, I had parsley. I had fresh parsley this time. And then nothing to do but serve this baby up. I could have used a bigger spoon. And not the back of it. Do you see me try to use the back of it? I got my eye on this dish here, this this pasta and this delicious sauce. Look at that, I made a mess, but look at that. Look how lovely that is. Let's go ahead and try a bite. Mmm, ma'am. That is amazing. Let me try the squash. I'm gonna try the squash. That was just the, you know, the shrimp and the, the pasta. Mm. That is magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. I'm 
Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. Let me take another bite for it. Mm. You know, if you're a pasta buff like I am, y'all know I love pasta. Anyway, shape or form, you're gonna absolutely love this recipe. If you like shrimp, if you like squash, you could throw anything you want in there. You could throw some um, zucchini in there, any type of um, nice summer vegetable. It would be amazing. It's just what I have on hand. Perfect, 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 perfect. And if you're looking for low carb, you could just not use any pasta at all. You're looking to try to eat a little bit healthier. Make that maybe over some brown rice. I'm full of ideas. Mmm. I'm going to get me some more of this. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy it. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up anyway. You know I love you guys. You know I do. I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.